What's going on, folks? DK, this time with StarCraft not remastered. I'm on patch 1.16, uh, continuing Yells of Freedom here. And yeah, let's just get right into it. The Reckoning. Pi orbit over Char this time, huh? Not on Marsara. Truly, you're a great help. First, you helped the Praetor and me to escape from Ire, and now you release us from this council's fiends. Are you some kind of escort warrior or something? More or less. May I know why? May I know why you're helping us? Why are you so interested in us? It seems unfair to me that after you offer value services to your race, they decide to punish you instead, con instead of congratulating you. Furthermore, I believe that this council of yours shouldn't be directing or controlling other protons. The fact that there is someone superior moving to others destroys the natural freedom of mankind. But, well, the council doesn't reach such extremes. Your moral principles seem very primitive. But listen, there's something we can do for you. We've saved our lives twice, and we're in dark with you now. We're in debt with you now. Do you seriously want to help me? I'm a stranger to you. In time, I'll be able to know you better if you like, my brother. And I'm willing to get the debt back. Return the favor. Well then, I'm glad you're with me. Loneliness has been my only companion for many millennia. What? Millennia? But how? What are you? I need you to explain me something. What has happened on Iron is now controlled by those horrible beasts. Seriously, it seems almost if you've lived under a rock during these recent times. Those beasts are deserved, a race created by the Zelnaga and formerly ruled by an entity known as the Oakwine. It invaded Aya in order to assimilate the Protoss race, but it was defeated. However, its minions remained, and now the Queen of Blades has captured our Kaedarian crystals. We attempted to stand a choice, stand a chance, a choice before we swore alongside a protoss called Eurephes that managed to hold the Zerga at fast for a brief time, but we were defeated again. Now the council wants to recover it, reuniting all the protoss and curse our refuge, our refuge after the fall of our Eurephes, is he still alive? I hope so, but we lost all contact with him after our defeat on our. Do you know him? You also talked about Shakuras. Is the temple still standing? Yes. Interesting. Do you still want to repay me the debt? Of course. Good. I need raw Kaden crystals. The ones of your pylons are artificial. They aren't of any use for me. Could you br bring them to me? I assure you it's for the greater good of our race. Nothing more? Very well. Right now the Praetor and I are going to search for them. And I know the perfect place to get them. Come on, Praetor. And that place is on Char, right? Bring a pro to the Kidarian, but the work game must endure, so it must survive. Killer and at least one pro must survive. Okay, now we get to control Killer now. Uh, <laughs> How foolish have we been, Kirian? It seems like she forgot to deactivate the work game she captured on Aria. Did she believe that I didn't know the code for the work travel? Very well, Praetor. This will be our course of action. We're, we are going to steal Kerrigan, but what am I telling you? We are going to recover some of the Kegan crystals Kerrigan stole from us in iron, on iron. They must be near this place, so we shall carry out my plan, and when the crystal is ours, we shall, we shall leave this world. Pay attention. We must split into two groups. The first one shall remain here to defend the gate at, at any cost. It will be our escape route once we recover, recover the crystals. The second one will leave and search for the Kidarian through the west exit of our base. They'll bring a probe to carry the crystals. But we've a problem. We can't risk to use our limited resources and launch and attack against the Zerg main hive clusters. It'll be too risky. So while our probes are warping more minerals and gas to help, you must use the resources you can, in which you believe necessary to accomplish the mission. Okay, it's like a... And we can't lose our two probes. They are the only ones we're going to use in this mission. It's a very delicate operation, but you can do it. Entaro task bar. Bring a probe to the building when it's done. Bring the Kider and Killer to the work bit over there. So you throw a Killer and at least one probe must survive. And I'm gonna s 
savior. Yo, the freedom. Um, is is our upgrade instant? Unfortunately, not. We can also make weavers, but we are very, very limited in resources. So I'll start warping in units, I guess. So we have to go through the western exit. All right, let's. You know what? I, I don't know how this mission is gonna play out. So I better just be very, very careful. Let's save here again. Okay, Killer still does 90 damage as we've seen in the very first mission of this episode. Oh, we get resources. Oh, that's pretty cool. We get 8 resources per second. So it's like... It's like, um... Some kind of, like... Resource, um... Transfer from other worlds. Or the other side or something. I don't know. I'm tripping, guys. I'm tripping. Um, actually, I'll, do I want to bring the reaper? Yes, I will. And apparently, there's no fog of war in indicating where the key and crystal is. So this is gonna be a very tedious trek here. It's gonna be an adventure for me. Okay, while that's coming, um, I'll just leave my two probes. Actually, I'll bring one probe right now. And this pro can actually keep fortifying. I, I feel like they're gonna attack from this side. I might need to get a green range, probably. I can just micro kill her and just yeah, one shot Zerglings. So basically, okay, it looks like the Zergling, the Zergling, the blue Zerg, um, they have uh, Adreno Guns, which is not good for me, but. And yeah, well, well, it starts to feel like our upgrade timing is kind of fast, like faster than usual. So can we make stargates? Oh, no observer either. Huh? So this is like a micro and macro uh, tactic kind of. We're seeing that kind of gameplay right now, which which reminds me of somewhat reminds me of uh, battle on Praxis. In case you guys don't know what that is, so uh, it was a uh, was, was that a hunter killer? In case you don't know what that is, so um, nah, let me go. So that that was a scripted attack right now, a triggered attack. So I'm gonna make a shield battery there. I'll leave some units here too, possible. I don't want to move Kira all the way back to our main fortification or recharge shield. I'm gonna just make a shield battery here, and just, if if it's possible. Wait, 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 wait there. You can also warp in dark hard cards, but I don't think that's necessary at the moment. So, like I was like, this mission is kind of giving me that vibe of mission five of. A uh, Bruder Protoss mission, I believe. Okay, let's upgrade shield now. Hey, it looks like the map maker forgot to deactivate the air weapons upgrade, but that's fine. Now, uh, stuff like that happens. That's why when you're making your um custom campaign, uh, you, you want to make sure you want to you know rush through the map making portion because. It's gonna look unprofessional. It's like small things like this makes you know, kind of small things like this. It makes the campaign feel oh this this guy just rushed it instead of taking you know his dedication, his time to you know devote himself or herself to making a proper custom campaign map. Okay, let's get killing the Ragnasar. And the reason, and you might be wondering, oh, did, how come you're playing uh, for patch 1.16 instead of patch 1.2? Which, by the way, that's the current version of StarCraft 1 right now. Fire Blizzard. Okay, so yeah, they do indeed attack from there, so that means I'll need to send in my units there. 
Okay, I wanna kill all the Wolverines if possible. Well, it's because... You know in the last mission, where I got to cut your Sias as well? Uh, the similar guy, the unknown Dark Templar guy? Um, he wasn't supposed to be a purple color, in case you did not watch my video. He was purple color in the remastered version of StarCraft, the patch 1.20 of StarCraft 1. That is because, um... Wow, that pro almost died. That is because the current Star, the most recent StarCraft one. Um, okay, let's try to salvage your folk if possible. The most recent StarCraft one um, version of yeah, like I said, okay, what am I saying? The most recent StarCraft version um, does not use extended colors. Hence, the Solar guy was. Um, Purple. I believe he, he's supposed to be some kind of shade of gray or something like mixture of colors like that was shown in the that was shown in the um, the very first map of this campaign, the introduction map. But yeah. So, I think I'm gonna just continue this campaign with this 1.16 rate in case um, the sonar, sonar guy like, you know, pops up again. Okay, let's get some Archons maybe? I don't know. I don't actually scout. Why is there like... On, on my... to the east. Let's see, we're one one up here, that's why. Why there's so many Zerg here? I guess is this the fast the fast route? Oh god. That leg would just bamboozle the Ragnasaur. Honor guide me. Let's see. Okay, so we're not supposed to co go there, okay, because that's the Orange's base, and I do believe Orange is an actual computer that makes armies and whatnot. That sent the three Zerglings here earlier. You know, it would be nice if. Um, it would be nice if. Like, we had the StarCraft 2 mechanics for this particular mission where we can warp in our warp in our units, you know? Okay, which way do we go? Oh, that was just another triggered attack. Hey, no Protoss left behind here. That includes robotic units like Ubers and probes. What? I keep sending units to where killer is at? I guess. Wish we had shuttles for our Reavers. Like, if I make a Reaver now and then send another one to where our main, main um, battalion is at, it's gonna take too long. Gosh, that was a lot of hydros. Uh, that was one confused um, hydro list there, but that's fine. Okay, I feel like we're getting close to the... To the crystal? Okay, let's set. What the hell? Come on, that? Oh, I still got it. Okay, so if I didn't make a building a pile on there, it would have maybe attacked here. Like directly, but it's a good thing I didn't you know, completely like not build buildings on my way. That's why I have this 2 HP um probe there. And it's a good thing I brought a reaver with me. You know every time you see like stuff like you know what I'm actually gonna 
Ah, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll get I'll get the extra 25 damage upgrade on my fever. No, not the clone, dude. Ah, oh, gosh. Hopefully. Hopefully, DK learned a lesson there. Ah, oh, gosh, that was just a, just a misplay from me, I guess. And by the way, Kyria doesn't one-shot Hydralisk, I think. He does 75% damage against um, the, old, the Hydralisk. That's just how damage mechanics work in yeah, StarCraft 1. Like, there's no bonus damage, just does reduce damage. It either does, it either does the full amount of damage, or... Okay, hold that thought. We lost the Weaver, unfortunately, but... Oh, that's gonna be... That's, is that an ult? Is, are they are they actually spawning units? Alright, let's get back. Yeah, it's spawning ult units, okay. I gotta I got kill that Midas Canal. It's spawning a crap ton of units. Jeez. Okay, I could have suspected this. So let's move in. Unfortunately, we don't have another probe here to really negate the damage. And our gas gas income is getting really slow. Or was it like that? I don't know. And what I'm gonna do here is make a gateway here. Literally make units here. And yeah. So like I was saying about the damage, it either does the full intended damage that's shown over here, or it does reduce damage. That's how StarCraft StarCraft 1 works. Alright, let's make a... Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll need a lever, a shield battery. Probably a gateway maybe. Now we're kind of limited in resources, so I'll just hold off on that. Let's see if they brought an overlord there. Oh, he's still. Yeah, this is why we have Dark Templar here. Okay, let's send this Ultralis to where my units are at. Okay, that that's not good. Okay, first of all, I gotta stop playing like a doozy. Okay, there we go. This probe needs to be tucked in here. Okay, the save yeah, what a freak I need to frequently save on this. Okay, there we go. We're just kiting our units like this. Not our units, but them. Because the computers are leased. Not leased, but leashed. Like you know, where you put a leash on your dog. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep moving, I guess. Okay, recharge shield. I'll probably make another 
gateway like so. Possibly a cannon somewhere here, I guess. Yeah, there's three, there's three musketeers that are you know, making their way. Anything else here? Maybe add a dragoon, because I saw Mutalist attacking on our rear side here. Yeah, I made the extra... Uh, I made the extra shield battery to recharge my Archon. Now let's, head, let, let's head our way here. Oh god. Okay, which way are they going? Wait, they're sending Ultras too. Oh, for that? That looks kind of scary. Let's see where they're gonna go. Okay, the, they're actually coming over here. Okay, so I need to get my Jagoos ready. Okay, they came here. That's fine. We're gonna lose a cannon, I believe. Or uh, maybe we're just too strong. The ultra list might be coming through this side, yep. So what we're gonna do is literally lure them. Oh, uh, the ultra list is actually actually like target fire that photo can. Oh, but that's interesting. All right, let's go. I'm gonna make more cannon here just in case. Okay, let's make our way now. Oh, okay, it's right here. KD and Crystal for me. Okay. I'll save now. We found the KD and Preacher. The probe's working right now to extract a little portion of the crystal. Once it's done, we'll bring the KD to our base and we shall leave this damned planet. Okay. Right. Does that mean they're gonna send like a large attack wave here? I'm, I'm kind of scared. Uh, maybe I should have made a gateway here or something. Well, in the meantime, let's just wait for the probe to mine the uh, gateway and. I'll just send them, I'll send some units here and uh, do some, just explore this map a bit more I guess. Oh, there's another entrance, oh, another path here. Okay, we're, we should be 3-3 three, three now. Oh, 3-2-3, three, three. okay. Close enough. Wait, I'm seeing something. Okay, let's be careful. So where's Kerrigan at? Is she still on iron? Like literally making herself, you know, the the real queen of the universe, queen female dog of the universe. Do I even attack ones? I mean, feels so unnecessary, but... Hmm. Is there another path here that I missed? I feel like I can explore a bit more, right? Or maybe that's it. I'll just, I'll just make more units. The shield too. No way to actually go up the high elevation here, but... Let's try to attack orange since we're literally doing nothing. There's a path that we can... Nope. Nope, 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 that was in it. Wait, what is this? Hello? Crater, it seems impossible. We found an old Terran base, but it looks abandoned. The Zerg have left no survivors. 
However, it's likely the humans attempted to evacuate as they left an entire detachment of resources here. Praetor, take over them. They'll be useful. You found 3,000 resources? What? Alright, well. I'll get started on my units then. Thanks. This is why we explore, guys. This is why exploring is key. Which I probably should explore the other side. Oh, and then by the way, like, in, like what I said, like this mission remind me of mission of five of Brood War for Pro Plus campaign, but it also reminds me of it's done, Praetor. Let us leave this cursed world. Protect the probe and bring it along. The key there to the gate. Okay, he has the so this probe has the key there in here. Okay, and as expected, Zerglings came here to attack. It also reminds me of mission. Actually, I should have said if this really reminds me of mission four of the original purpose campaign. Alright, let's make our way. And as I suspected, they're gonna start becoming more crazy. So I'll just move click my units with this? Oh god. There we go. I had to sacrifice a dark Dark Templar in order to kill that bull lurker, but that's just how it is sometimes. Yeah, so I should have said that in the beginning. This is definitely... It has that very similar gameplay from Mission 4 of uh, the original Protoss campaign, Mission uh, Episode 3. Uh, that is when we uh, where we first see Jim Rayner in the Protoss campaign, along with um, along with Pathfinder, of course. And that was that was on Char, I believe, and you know, a space platform or something like that. Okay, let's attack more into space because we're bored. Alright, get back, get back. Look at that. Dude, look at this reaver trying to make, make it weird. Oh no, there's their extent there. Kidarian didn't have strings to pursue us. Praetor, bring us out of here. Wait, what? Okay, that's not good. That is, that is very not good. I gotta, I gotta stop talking and just keep, keep running. Holy jeez. Oh, that, was that an infested Terran just now? Hey, it's a good thing I made the structures there, right? Yeah, this probe's gonna make more buildings. And this now reminds me of a use map setting uh, games like such as uh, run like like what was that? What was it called or something? Like some kind of some kind of running um game from a use map setting UMS map. Alright, you gotta, you gotta sacrifice. You did good, we did good. Unless, that's just how it is. Come on, come on! Hey, what about the other units before they went in? Before they got into the warp gate? That's kind of bad. What has happened here? Some intruders came to charge. They have taken with them several key game crystals. I attempted to stop them, but they managed to escape. Intruders? How? All oh, the orbit of Char is strongly defended. How could they? Ah, I'm stupid. They must have come through the warp gate. I've got to deactivate it. Oh my god. 
or a lead last the gate carrier. The intruders detonated it during their escape, and if you want to know, it was Killer. Killer? Damn that foul Protoss. It's the third time he crossed my way. Shimra, prepare all our vessels. That Protoss will regret what he has done today. We're going to begin the second phase of our plan. Already? Well, all, our, all of our minions are yet ready. Are yet. Leave two entire broods, Shimra. They'll be enough. That Protoss has been the drop that filled the glass. He'll know who am I, who I am, the Queen of Blades. As you wish, my queen. I'll rally our forces. It's Ascension of Kerrigan, not Durant. And Shimra is acting as Durant here for Kerrigan. Killer's fleet, Zerg swarms. It actually took me this long. Oh, that was interesting. And in some way, this mission actually reminded me of several um, gameplays from Warcraft 3, I think. Or, or so, I think. It's kind of like, I think in that Warcraft 3, uh, where Grom Hellscream becomes tainted or something. Becomes like Fell Orc or something. What was, was it called that? Tainted Orc? But yeah, anyway, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm gonna upload more video later. It's I'm actually I actually uh, just finished this early. I woke up early today and yeah, I figured out oh, what I should just you know play this I guess. But which I did just now. So I still got you know a few more like not few but a lot of hours left until it's Sunday. So Eddie, you signing off here for now. See you later.